What's good guys? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the nickel normal defense. Why I believe the nickel normal might be the most adaptable defense in Madden and a great coverage defense that you can use out of this formation to be able to defend compression two by two formations. Now, if you're new to the channel, I wanna ask you to go ahead and to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, I also wanted to let you know that if you want to get my full nickel normal uh, defensive uh, ebook, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon membership in the description below. And what's cool about the Patreon membership is it's a great place for you to be able to get access to not only my nickel normal guide, but actually every uh, Madden 22 ebook that I have. I've got over 20 offensive and defensive guides, uh, all inclusive in the Patreon. So if you want to check that out, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. All right, guys. So what we want to do here is. Uh, we want to go to the packages and we want to flick the right joystick to the left to put the free safety inside one package on our field. And what you're going to notice here is we're going to definitely need to go through and you know just kind of make sure that we have our personnel where we want them, all of our players uh, where we want them. Uh, you can obviously resub in your slot corner there, of course, and then you can put the safety back at the top of the key uh, if you wanted to do that. But the, the coverage we're going to be taking a look at today that I wanted to really highlight is actually the cover two sink. And, and what I find that's really good about the cover two sink is the vertical hook for the slot corner. So you can either use the cover two sink or you could also use the cover two show four. But I'm gonna show you why I really like this uh, coverage against two by two compression in particularly um, because there are certain adjustments that you're gonna be able to get out of this that are really, really good for two by two compression. Now, I like to base align my defense. Obviously, you can't do that in practice. Well, actually, you can do that now in practice, but let me show you how to do that. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to hit the, uh, click the right uh, stick joystick in. We're going to base align our coverage, and then we're going to come out in that cover two defense. And what you're gonna notice with this base align component is it's going to allow us to basically funnel everything back to the interior. So again, I'm in the Tampa 2 defense, and then what we're gonna do is kind of create a 4-3 uh, style of coverage. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to pinch our D-line, crash our D-line out, shift our linebackers to the right. And then what's really important here is that you capitalize on um, your coverage adjustments. And what we can do is we can put both of our safeties in outside thirds, as you can see right there. And then we're going to put the middle linebacker that we shifted to the right into the deep middle third. Um, the reason we're gonna do this is because it's going to help us cover a lot of the bombs in this formation. And then also, if you think about it, from the crosser perspective, you have the vertical hook on the left to kind of chase crossers as you might need to. And then we can actually uh, take the defensive end on the right side of the screen and put him into a vertical hook and then take the backside defensive end on the running back side and put him into a three rec hook. Uh, by doing a bluff blitz. So you're gonna see here we're only gonna blitz two people, but because we're blitzing our user and because we have a three red hook on the field, we're gonna be able to be in a position where we can actually you know, track with this. And so if we get a concept, uh, it's like something like this right here, oftentimes you gotta remember, people that run two by two tight, they like to block their tight end. So you're gonna get a lot of this kind of concept right here. Um, it's definitely not an uncommon uh, route combo. And then again, you're gonna be using, of course, here. And really what you're looking for is the deep crossing route. Wherever the deep crossing route is, that's where you're gonna go. So as you can see here though, this covers that, ends up covering that really, really well. Now, one of the reasons that people love two by two compression is because they can literally just kind of force feed uh, different types of crossing routes, uh, like the one from Mesh Spot. So I'm gonna show you kind of how that works. So if I were to streak um, digs, I'm gonna block my tight end, and then you know typically they'll maybe do like a little slant little slant to the triangle receiver and then maybe the running back on a ghost route or the running back on a little out route or something underneath okay again we're going to set up our coverage so we're going to go with a uh, baseline defense here let me make sure my settings are set up right here's a baseline cover two we're going to shift the linebackers to the right we're going to drop that linebacker into the deep middle third we're going to drop both of the outside safeties into the outside thirds drop the defensive end into a vertical hook and the backside defensive end into a bluff blitz, which will put him into a three wreck and he'll kind of handle the running back on those wheel routes. And what you'll see here is again, we're just looking for this deep, deep crosser and we're gonna carry that all the way to the sideline. Now, as you can see, we're able to take that away. When you think about two by two compression and why it's so hard to guard, 
primarily because they start in and they work out, right? There's two primary routes that you're gonna get from two by two compression. You're either gonna typically get a deep crosser or a deep corner. Now, of course, if you don't get one of those, you might get a wheel route, which we'll talk about in just a second. But what's really cool about this is let's say that they go to the play flood and they're going to try to attack us. Um, now they're gonna to try to attack us you know, on this side of the field with a little flood concept here. So you can see something like this. Maybe they, maybe they do a little mesh underneath type thing. A lot of people love to do a smart routed in route, which I'll try to show you here. Uh, so again, just a simple smart routed in. And what you'll see here, something like this. Like I said, we set up our coverage. And again, we're just looking for the crosser. We don't see a crosser. And what you'll see is these corner routes, these thirds really do a good job of driving on the corner route. And again, keeping them in front of the defense. This is a defense that is designed to basically keep everything in front of you as you attempt to defend this formation. Now, another concept that I wanted to just take a quick second and uh, hit on in, the, in this playbook is the gun tight. In particularly, this is, I call it the Mills play. It's a concept that Mills um, runs probably better than anybody in the world, to be honest with you. But it's basically this drive corner play. And it's essentially the utilization of the, utilization of the corner route um, in the vertical to really put the defense in a bad position. So I'm gonna show you how this works, but basically we're gonna set up the exact same defense. And what you're gonna see here is you know in this situation right here you know obviously if you need to drop that nickel corner into a middle third you certainly can do that out of this formation but i like to leave him in a vertical hook if possible and the reason why is because you'll see right here if i streak beasley and then i take digs and put him on like a little little underneath route like this oftentimes this deep corner route is going to actually get matched by the vertical hook and played all the way to the sideline this is something that does not happen unless he is in a standard vert hook. So if I go to the Tampa 2 here, I'll show you how this works. I was just showing you a concept out of the cover 2 sink. But let's say that I go to the Tampa 2. Again, this is probably one of the best concepts in 2x2, in all of 2x2 compression. It's basically something to this extent right here. And what you're gonna see on this left side is we need this vert hook to carry that route all the way to the sideline so that it can drive on it once it gets outside. So that's one of the number one reasons why the vertical hook is such an important zone in this. And also why, if you think about it again, we wanna funnel everything to the middle of the field. So if I actually just leave these two vertical hooks on here, you're gonna see that um, it's not terrible. Obviously you're gonna have to use in the middle of the field, but if I were to streak this guy, um, you're gonna see of course, like that's why we put the middle third there. Um, if you if you feel like you can kind of use her that, um, that's kind of your decision to make. But by and large, you know, I love to be able to just simply put this guy here. Another thing that you can do against two by two compression is you can kind of gauge again where they're throwing crosses and corners. If they're only throwing to one side, then you can certainly kind of roll the coverage, you know, kind of like this right here. But I love to, you know, basically play it again like this. And then now I have the vert hooks and the three wrecks underneath. And this is just gonna funnel everything and force them to have to check down underneath. So again, a concept that looks kind of like this, you're gonna see, we're gonna play really well. And again, that vertical hook is going to match this, even though it doesn't quite get there. In that example, it typically does. And again, this is why I don't like to set zone drops, um, at least as a general starting point. If I have to, I certainly will. But this vert hook matching onto these crossers and corners is a very, very practical thing from the cover two sink that I really like. And then you can actually turn those uh, those soft squats into cloud flats if you wanted to do that. Um, just simply hot riding them to a cloud flat would be fine. But anyways, this is my favorite defense for two by two compression, at least right now. Um, just as a way to kind of stop those rollout corners, those rollout crossers. It's a great defense to do it. The nickel normal is one of the most, is the most complete defense in Madden 22, in my opinion, has all the main principles, all the match principles, all the great run defense and great pressure. So if you want to check out that defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon in the description of the video. You can click on that link and go over and join the membership. The cool part about the membership, it's going to get you access to every Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebook that I have, over 20 ebooks. What's also uh, interesting or cool is you're going to get access to all of the updates that I've released over the course of the season and any additional updates that I'll release in the coming weeks. We pretty much release new updates to these ebooks every single week that kind of little, twi uh, little tweaks 
little changes. We actually just put a major update into our nickel defense this last week, teaching a way to basically bag bunch tight end, a way to bag triple tight end. So if you want to check that out, again, join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. It's only ten dollars to sign up, get you access to everything. And again, uh, if you want to sign up for that, that link is in the description.